okay, this isn't working. I think I'm too high. Let's do a different shot. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and this is Roaming Nikki. I've been full time on the road for four years now. And in the first year I lived in a B-class RV and I'm presently living in a truck camper. So what I thought I'd do in this video is compare the two for full time living. So this is my present rig. I live in an Adventurer 89 RB, which is a 2020 model. And then the truck is a Ford F350 uh, 2017 model. And the B class that I lived in was a Winnebago 59 GL. And that was a 2021 model, which was on a Dodge Promaster chassis. Um, I believe that was a 2020 model. So fuel consumption was much better on the B class. Um, it's hard to compare a little bit because uh, fuel right now is so expensive. Um, I had the B class three years ago, nearly two, three years ago. Um, so obviously price is different. Uh, but on this one, I spend about 50 Canadian dollars and that's about a quarter of a tank, which gets me about an hour's worth of driving. Um, and on the B class, it was probably about double that you know, we could have gone a lot further on there. So that one was definitely better. So when it comes to ground clearance, the truck definitely beats out on the Winnebago. Um, on the Travato, all the batteries and the tanks were placed under the chassis, which made the clearance really, really low. Whereas with this thing, it's a lot higher, which means we can go on dirt roads and back roads and another difference between a B-class and a truck camper is that we've obviously got two pieces. We've got the truck and the camper. And what's good about that is that if I have a mechanical problem with the truck, I can take the camper off. We've still got somewhere to stay. Um, or if there's a problem with the camper, we can take that off and we can still travel in the truck. Um, with the B-class, if there's something wrong, we lose both our vehicle and our home. So. And also, if I want to sell the camper and upgrade or get a different camper, I can do that and still have the truck. Also, if I want to sell the truck and upgrade that, I can and keep the camper. So that's convenient. So typically B classes don't have any external storage. The Winnebago Travato didn't, but the truck campers do. And this one has a what they call a joey tray, which is a really long tray underneath the floor of the camper. And we also have quite a decent sized box here, which we just store all our external uh, stuff in. Um, but the main highlight of having a truck camper on a truck is this amount of storage. And I don't even have this full. <laughs> we could easily store a lot more. B classes typically have a fairly small size propane tanks. Um, in the truck camper, we have 40 pounds of propane. In the Travato, we had 25 pounds. Um, so one of these tanks lasts about three weeks. Um, I use it for heating, hot water and cooking. And um, yeah, so between the two, it's pretty good. So this truck camper is 25 feet long and the Winnebago Travato was 21 foot long. So it, you can't park this in a regular parking space, um, but with the Travato you could because it's basically the length of a truck anyway. And the other difference between the two is height. So this thing is really high. It's uh, 11 and a half feet high, somewhere around there. I can't remember how high the Travato was, but definitely wasn't as high as that. So with the height, it's not so much that you have to worry about bridges, which you do, um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, you've got to think about like car parks, like mall car parks, 
um, hotel car parks. Uh, a lot of them will have the, the height restriction bars on them. Um, and that's the only time we've had a problem where we've had to go and drive around to try and find somewhere that doesn't have the restrictive gate on the entrance to the car parks. It only happened once so far, and that was at uh, Edmonton Mall. So another difference between the two is uh, tank sizes. So what we can hold on fresh water and grey and um, black tanks. So in the Travato, we were at 18 gallons for fresh, 15 for grey and 11 for black. Now the difference in, in the camper is, is huge. Our fresh is 42. Our grey is 25 and our black is 22. So with the Travato, we could go about five days. The two of us could go about five days. Um, and that was being very frugal with our water and having Navy showers and, and being you know really careful. We're not as careful now. And um, we still get, I don't know, we could get probably to about seven days, but we go to about five days still. Um, but we are not as frugal. The grey tank is the one that we really pay attention to. We don't run out of fresh, we rarely fill the black, but the grey always seems, on the Travato and on the camper, always seems to be the one that fills up first. In the camper we have a two-way fridge, which means it runs off propane and shore power. In the Travato, we had a three-way fridge, which was shore power, propane, and the house batteries. The Travato we had was a GL, which meant we had lithium. So we never thought about the battery power running down or any of those kinds of problems. Um, whereas now with this one, it's mainly on propane. So we have to, one, make sure that we're level. Um, it can damage the fridge if we're not level. And also, Anytime we stop for a, a period, we have to switch the propane on to make sure that the fridge is running. And then we switch the propane off whenever we're traveling for safety. Definitely prefer the three-way um, compared to the two-way. So in a lot of the B classes, you will get a microwave or convection oven and a two burner or even one burner. Um, and that could be either propane or um, induction. In this camper we have a three burner and an oven which I definitely prefer. Um, it's just a lot easier, don't have to think about being plugged in or having an inverter for, for the other equipment, it's just this, a lot simpler. And now into the bedroom. Uh, the Winnebago Travato, the 59GL, the, the, the one that, that I was living in, had a Murphy bed, um, which was convenient because you could store a ton of stuff underneath. Um, but it was it was very narrow. So me and my partner actually slept head to toe. So he would have his head up this end and I'd have my head at the bottom of the bed. Um, so it wasn't very comfortable. This is a queen size um, with, with lots and lots of room both you know, left, right, up and down, and we can sleep in a normal position. Um, other B classes um, will have twin beds or even a electric sofa bed at the back that you can just fold down. Um, but those, you know, you have to set up each night, you have to break down each day if you want to use the seating as seating. Whereas this is permanently here, I don't have to do anything other than tidy the bed in the morning. Heat regulation in the B class compared to the camper is also different. Um, in a B class, you've got the cab of the van as part of your, your home. So that can let in a lot of cold and a lot of heat through the windscreen. Whereas here, it's its, its own unit. So it can hold heat really well and um, we can expel heat and cold Typically in B classes, the tables are tiny. And in our particular camper, we have a really big table. We can actually fit two laptops with mouse pads easily. On the Winnebago Travato, we could only fit one laptop. 
and that was a pretty decent sized table compared to most B classes. So I can't remember what the size was in the Travato, but I figured I'd measure this one so you guys can have a look, especially if you're thinking of buying one of these because it's very convenient if you're working on the road. So let's go across and try and make this as straight as I can. So we're looking at uh, 29 inches uh, width and the length, it, it, it is angled this one, so it's slightly short on this end, but I'll measure the long side. And that is uh, 38 inches long, so pretty decent sized table. Comparing the two bathrooms is quite difficult because I like them both. Um, we wanted to make sure that we had elbow room, so when we're having showers, we're not, you know, and um, my partner really wanted a sink in the bathroom. I don't care, but he did, so uh, happy there. And um, a lot of B classes normally are quite small, but the one in the Travato GL um, was uh, one of the biggest ones in wet baths in uh, a B class. So in my opinion, between the two bathrooms in the B class and in the camper, one doesn't win over the other, happy with both. This isn't a comparison between B classes and campers specifically, but in the Winnebago Travato, we had awning windows. And in this one, we have sliding windows. I definitely prefer the awning windows. When it rains, the awning windows open up outwards, so the rain runs right off. Whereas with the sliding window, the rain comes straight down. It can pull in the little uh, slats down here and then even kind of overflow and come right into the camper. Um, so if I had a choice, I'd go with the awning. A general observation on the difference between a camper and a B class is when driving and you're going down a dirt road or you're, you're hitting a, a bump or whatever, you can hear every rattle and shake and things moving in the B class because it's right next to you. Whereas in this, it's a completely different unit. I don't hear anything. I can just drive as normal and then worry about what's falling out of the cupboard once I've stopped. When you're traveling in a B class, you can just park up wherever you're going to stay, swivel your seats around and you're in your living space. In a truck and camper, you have to get out of the truck, come all the way around, and then go into your living space. Uh, so it's definitely more convenient being in the B class. And you know, when you're leaving and you're opening the door and you're on show as you're leaving the, the camper, it's a little bit, yeah. I prefer the B class when it comes to uh, just getting in and out of the living space. Some people believe that that is also a security issue where if you need to just get up and go in a B class, uh, you, you're there. You, the driving section is part of the living space, whereas in a camper, you have to get out and go back into the camp, into the truck. In the years that I've been traveling full time, I've never had to jump into the driver's seat and drive off. So I don't see that as a, as a security issue for me. So in summary, what am I preferring, a B-class or a camper? I think I'm leaning towards camper. The B-class is definitely more convenient for parking because it's obviously shorter and fuel economy is better in a B-class. For the camper, it's big tanks, lots of storage and livability. Uh, big bed, big table, oven, one final point to consider is cost. The truck and camper that I have right now is basically half the price of the Winnebago Travato 59GL that I bought in 2020. So for now, the camper's winning out. What do you think? Are you living in a camper or a B-class? Which do you prefer if you've tried both? Leave a comment below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already and click on the notification bell 
and I will see you in the next video. Can you do this in a B class?